What is up guys, this is Mr. HHN and here today we're trying out something different again. We're over here in Riverside for Castle Dark which is taking place over here at Castle Park. So it's pretty exciting. First time I'm ever coming to this event. I know a couple people have been telling me to come here over the years but it looks like this year is the first year I'm actually checking out Castle Dark here in Castle Park. So I'm really excited to see what goes on at the event here. So let's go ahead and check that out guys. So this is the first maze we're doing. It looks like it's called Meltdown. It looks pretty small, but I don't know what to expect. So let's check this thing out. So we just did our first maze. It was called Meltdown. And to be completely honest, that looks different. And there's a clown right there. Yeah, we're in the middle of this clown scare zone. But that first maze we did called Meltdown, that was different. But yeah, overall, it was an interesting maze overall. So pretty cool maze. Again, similar to the effort. Exactly, how Tyler said, uh, we give a props for effort, and we're in the middle of this clown scare zone here. Oh god, shoot your bells. But, again, this is a new park to me, I've never been to this park in general, so we're just trying to navigate our way around and find our way to the next maze, but overall, I kind of dig the scare zones, they have a really cool ambience to them, and some of the costumes are really good, so we're all really having a good time here. Let's try to find the next maze, guys. Alright, so we found our way to another maze, it was the Crooked Man maze, which is... Right over there, and if you guys can see it in the distance, yeah, there it is. But we're not allowed to record inside the haunted houses, so I'm not gonna record inside the mazes. But again, I'll give my thoughts before we go in them and after we go inside the mazes. Overall, you know, I feel like it's a different ambience here at Castle Dark. There are a couple things that I do like about this event, there's a couple things that I'm starting to notice that aren't necessarily the greatest, but there is a lot of like, and it's pretty fun for what it is, you know. So I have, again, no idea where we're at. I have no idea how many more mazes we have to do. We're going to try to figure that out right now and head to those mazes over there, check out some of the other scare zones and whatnot, and try to do the whole Castle Dark event. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. Well, we're doing a little ride. It's called Ghost Blast here, which seems like an old kind of 90s style uh, dark ride. So pretty excited to actually do this. So let's check this out. That was really fun, right, Tyler? Like, what did yeah, you think? It was, cool. it was like an old kind of dark ride with guns. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's called Ghost Blasters. Now we're like inside this like little arcade type deal. We try to find our way out of here, do some of the other mazes. But that was pretty fun, actually, right, Tyler? Like, I like that. Like I really enjoyed it. That was like a throwback to like '90s like shooter or dark rides. And overall, pretty fun. Oh, this is so cool. They got like promotion for the Adams family and whatnot. So pretty cool. All right, we're back outside. Let's find some more mazes to do. The cool thing about Castle Dark is that on top of being like a little theme park, it's also a golf park, which is pretty cool. Thank you. So I guess this is like their golf park area, but looks like there's more mazes over here. So Meltdown, which we already did, and then Crooked Man, which we also did. So it also says Jinx and Havoc Twisted Circus. So I guess we're going to do that one. So there's three new mazes. We need to do still one more of those. So I'm going to go try to find that one and check it out. <laughs> yeah, like Zombie priest or something out in the streets. It's pretty cool. Overall, pretty nice aesthetic overall. That's the main thing I'm enjoying about this park. The aesthetic is actually pretty nice, honestly. I mean, like Midwestern town. Yeah. It, it actually feels like a little town, kind of. I don't know. I, I really like that. It reminds me a little 
little bit of nods, but it has like that same kind of feel to it. Tyler over here obviously had to go for something fried, so we're going to find fried Oreos that he's looking for right now. So let's try to see if he gets those. <laughs> we got the fried Oreos over here with First Tyler. Time trying them, man. He's never had fried Oreos. I told him I had them at Universal last year. It wasn't the best, but I guess we're gonna eat these things right now. <laughs> that is the devil's work. <laughs> you need to surrender your heart over to Jesus and the good Lord above. <laughs> because you son. Smell like a setup. <laughs> oh my god. Now you better go see Father Malachi before it's too late. Before that guy over there gets you. And trust me, he likes people like you. <laughs> We're waiting in line for the rides and it looks like the scare actors are allowed to come on board the queue lines for the rides which is pretty cool and something you don't really see at other events so Step forth over the mean for the Lord has a message for you that you see even the Lord is angry at what there is to offer here you look to be a bit afraid of fire are you afraid of something? No, sir. Good. <laughs> the Lord will remember you. The Lord will remember what you have done in this land. Your technology leads you down dark paths. May the Lord forever have mercy on both of your souls. You are in such grotesque. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we found the entrance to our next maze, which is the circus maze, the last one we needed to do. So let's go ahead and check this maze out. All right, so we just did the circus maze. I actually like that one. They use a lot of cool effects, like wind effects and water effects. Overall, all pretty fun. And we have another clown over here just trying to murder me. <laughs> Pretty creepy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that maze actually, I think that was my favorite out of the three. Really cool again. It had some pretty cool scares, so I got scared a couple times, so I really like that one. So right now it looks like we're gonna do maybe this spaceship type ride. Looks pretty cool, so can't wait to check it out. Right now we're gonna do the drop tower. Like like Tommy's really excited to do this ride, but he usually doesn't like drop towers, so looks like a fun one. Alright, we're coming up on another scare zone. It's the uh, Dia de los Muertos theme, I believe. That's like the mascot, I believe, I for the park. It's pretty cool. It's like a dinosaur of some like sort. It's like a railroad train track, like knots, but oh, they have like more rides and stuff over here. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, they have like a little pumpkin patch. Oh, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So they have what looks like a Day of the Dead shrine or something. It's pretty cool, like a pumpkin patch, I believe. And then like over here, it looks like they have like a Day of the Dead shrine. So this, this is this is actually pretty cool. Like, oh, it's like like a real memorial, I believe. So, but yeah, this is this is, this is pretty cool. I, I like this. Uh, Castle Dark is really like. Stuff like this. So again, basically, like I was saying, one of the main things I'm enjoying here a lot at Castle Dark is the overall ambience, like the different atmospheres that they're creating, like this whole Day of the Dead stuff. Like, I think it's actually really cool. I like the way they're pulling it off. So, I like that a lot, and I like the ambience of the park overall a lot. So, that's pretty cool. Move out to AT10. I will. Thank you very much. <laughs> This one right here, man. What I tell you, 
about playing with the devil's machines. Why do you keep sinning, boy? <laughs> And you think it's funny? You think it's really funny, don't you? <laughs> you know what happens to sinners like you? What happens? We sacrifice them. Really? <laughs> to that guy right there. You see what he's doing? That's what happened to sinners right there. <laughs> All right. You best turn around and be saved now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just got out of Castle Dark and overall my thoughts on the event, I think it's overall very different than what I'm used to when it comes to like haunts and whatnot. I think the best way to describe this park, it's like a starter park for anybody who's looking to get in a haunt. There's a lot of children here. It's a children's park. It's for children. It's for you want to bring your kids so they get like, used to haunts. It's a really good beginner park to bring your kids to. Overall, I really, there's a lot of things I enjoyed about this park. Overall, like I was saying throughout the vlog, I love the atmosphere that this park has. They're really good at creating atmosphere overall. So I overall really enjoyed that. And I think some of the costumes in there are pretty good as well. Some of the mazes, again, they could use some work. They're not the greatest. But again, costumes are good, the atmosphere is great, and it's really a beginner park for children. So again, it's a really good idea if you want to bring your kids and get them started off with haunts. This is a really good park to start it off with. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've ever been to Castle Dark or if you're planning on visiting sometime in the future. Also, if you haven't yet, please just subscribe to this channel for more haunt vlogs coming to you guys real soon. We do have more HHN content coming throughout the season. There's a couple more places I want to try to go this haunt season, so be on the lookout for those videos. And so, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put a link down in the description for more information about Castle Dark if you guys are interested in visiting. So be sure to look in the description box down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.